Hello everyone, welcome to Marvel Medicine. This lecture is on cardiac maneuvers and effects. Inspiration. The thing you need to remember about this is that inspiration accentuates right side heart murmurs such as tricuspid regurgitation and stenosis. The reason why is because when you inspire, this increases the amount of blood returning to the right side of the heart, also known as preload. So if they ask which maneuver will increase preload, remember, inspiration is a possible answer. The way I remember this is the letter I in right stands for inspiration. The way this comes up on the USMLE isn't usually media. Most of the time they won't have you listen to tricuspid stenosis and expect you to recognize it. They may do this however. They might have a vignette, then have you listen to the heart sound. If it gets noticeably louder during inspiration, then that's the tip off. It's right sided. The way they ask questions about this is that they give you a whole vignette and then mention that the murmur increases with inspiration. Boom. Right there is the tip off that it's a right sided lesion. From that point, all you have to do is go to the answer choices and pick the one that's on the right side of the heart, whether it's a tricuspid valve, pulmonic valve, or a myxoma in the right ventricle. Just pick the one that's on the right side. Valsalva. Okay, so what does this mean? Imagine sitting on the toilet and straining. Or imagine a pregnant woman pushing during labor. Do this. Take in a deep breath hold it, and then tighten your stomach muscles. That's the vas Valsalva maneuver. So what does this do to your hemodynamics? Well, just think about it. You have your veins slowly bringing back blood up to your heart, to the right side of the heart, through the IVC. Now imagine taking in a deep breath. The diaphragm gets pushed down and you tighten your stomach muscles. What do you think will happen to the pressure inside your abdomen? It will increase, right? So if I have increased pressure in the abdomen, what will that do to the veins? It will compress them. The compression of the veins will reduce the amount of blood that can return back to the heart. So what can we say about Valsalva and preload? It reduces preload, that simple. So if there's a question with a graph showing normal venous return and then a dashed line showing reduced venous return and they ask what maneuver can produce this change, you know Valsalva is one of them. Squatting. For this, what I want you to do is get up out of your seat and squat yourself and try to feel what is going on with your hemodynamics. First off, notice how close your knees and the lower half of your body are to your heart. Do you think it's easier for the blood in the veins in your legs to get to your heart or harder? Easier, right? So what does that do to preload? It increases it. Squatting increases preload. That's why when people are feeling dizzy, nauseous, or general weakness due to hypotension, squatting makes them feel better. Squat, you're squeezing a lot of the muscles in your legs and at the crease of your femoral arteries. This increases afterload also. This is a really testable concept on step one because of Tetralogy of Fallot. Squatting will increase your afterload. When the afterload is increased, the blood in the left ventricle will be more likely to reverse the VSD and go left to right. More blood in the right ventricle means more blood going to the pulmonary artery, more blood to the lungs, and more oxygenated blood returning.